Our skin goes through many changes as we age, such as wrinkles, age spots, and thinning skin. We spoke with Dr. Ronald Moy, a Beverly Hills-based dermatologist and president of the American Academy of Dermatology. We asked Dr. Moy what kind of problems people have when they have thin skin. If you have real thin skin, people complain of the bruising on the arms is probably the best example. You know, they get bruised really easily. But then the appearance-wise, when you have real thin skin, you show up with more wrinkles, say, or under the eyes. Or sometimes the neck skin is a lot thinner than, the, than here, and that's part of the reasons to start sagging. So in fact, when we use some of the creams, like DNA repair enzyme creams, if you look at our pictures carefully, you actually see tightening. And it's really because it thickens the collagen and then it, it actually tightens up the skin. Collagen, thicker collagen really makes the skin look more youthful and thinner skin, like here, makes it more saggy. So that is one of the things, you know, if you had to do one thing, it is to use creams to thicken the skin and it'll help some of that looseness and, and sagginess. What type of skin would show wrinkles more? People with thick skin, for example, my skin, you know, people who have ethnic skin generally have thicker skin and are less likely to show up with the wrinkles than, say, someone who's Caucasian and has really thin skin. Then we're more likely to see the wrinkles all over. So that's why thickening it actually improves the appearance. It improves the, the wrinkles. And having thick skin, like someone who has darker skin, say someone who's, uh, you know, the darkest skin types, you don't see wrinkles on them. And if you take someone who's, say, blonde or Swedish descent, You'll see, you know, someone with Irish, Swedish descent, someone who has fair skin, more wrinkles on them. Now, partly that's sun damage and not having as much pigment. So it's a combination of, of things, but certainly thickening the skin makes someone look younger. It, it's one of the aging things that, that happens. As we all get older, we get thinner skin. And, and the back of the hand is probably the best example, but, you know, all over the face. What can be done to thicken aged, thin skin? And probably the most common way is laser resurfacing. So, you know, when people look a lot better, they can look, say, 10 years younger by doing a laser resurfacing. It obviously is, you know, helping the surface component, but also thickening the skin makes someone look younger and tighter. So we say, we measured out, for example, the skin is 10 to 15 percent tighter when we do laser resurfacing. And it is because the thickening that occurs all over when we're doing that procedure. With treatments such as creams and also laser resurfacing, how long does it take to thicken thin skin? Well, with creams, generally it's slow. It takes, you know, several months. You don't see the immediate results you sometimes see on these television infomercials. You know, often those are because they fill in the cracks with silicone, and it's a, if you really look close, it's a little bit cakey. But if you're talking about real creams, like say tretinoin, there's been a lot of studies on tretinoin. That really takes 16 weeks. All the studies have been done over a 16-week period of time. Or if you talk about laser resurfacing, you know, that's that's somewhat immediate, you'll see an improvement in the, in the top layer of the skin, but you don't really see the skin thickening again for months. We often tell our patients it's six months before they see you know, even some of the results, especially the deeper lines when we're trying to get these deep lines out around the mouth. It takes a long time for the skin, the, the collagen to thicken, the, the skin to thicken. So it's not, it's not a quick process. The wrinkles around the mouth are often formed by people pursing their lips a lot, or women may do that more often, or smokers do that. That's maybe the most common way to get you know, these smokers lines. And the way we remove it, it's sort of ironing it out. So you know, laser resurfacing does a couple things. It, it provides heat, and heat actually causes the skin to tighten. So tightening the skin actually makes it better. Then it sort of irons it out. It, it takes down the, you know, the irregularities that occur, so it sort of smooths it out there. And then finally, the third thing it does is it thickens the skin, which actually does fill in these little gaps. So the overall appearance is, is you know, less wrinkles, but it's a combination of smoothing, tightening the skin, and, and evening things out and increased collagen.